Welcome to You Can Do It. So we're looking at Husqvarna chainsaw mufflers, so 372 uh, XP I'm building up. Um, <clears throat> this is the muffler. There's loads of videos out there on muffler mods and things like that. But there isn't one video I've seen about opening one of these up. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to have a look inside and see what's happening. We're going to make a bit of a muffler mod of our own. So the idea is actually to take that baffle out in there. Uh, and then put, we're going to take that baffle out internally and then put like a bigger, a bigger hole in there. And that's about it. So, I thought these, these are look like they're some, somehow welded here. So I'm trying, I'm tempted to just cut that side or that side. But I feel that the baffle in there is sitting on top of there. So if I cut it there, the baffle will come out with that bit. If I cut it there, the baffle will be stuck in there. Either way, it's going to be interesting. So I'll cut it along the top here first. So let's put it in the vise here. Get my angle grinder. And I'll see you outside. Okay, we're outside now. I'm just going to take my trusty angle grinder and I'm going to cut down there and cut that off. So let me hack into that. I'll be back in a minute. Cut that and it won't come apart because I think that the so what I'm now going to do is cut another one along there because I think that the baffle is what's holding it holding it in so let's see how we get on it still doesn't come apart so it's obviously this bit and this bit are welded so <laughs> the next idea I'm going to do take one of these and I'm going to drill down there if I can break that then that will come apart so wish me luck okay look I've used that I've drilled down look and it has sort of worked because I can crack that one off now there we are. I'll try and do the same here might need to do a little bit of that that one's come off as well okay I think we're to take this apart now okay so we finally get it apart look nice treat Okay, so that was actually just spot welded there which you can just move it a bit and it snaps off so you see look I've, I've attacked it with the angle grinder and that comes off now so that baffles out i'm just going to clean that up a bit clean up this surface here and the theory is raise that together or weld it together then it's all back to normal again so a bit of a result let's have a look so I'll, I'll carry on yeah so look that'll go together so i'm going to pinch that I've got to go get some brazing rod and I'll try and squeeze this up a lot and just go around and braze it all up. So then basically I've got, I'll have a solid can so the gases will come straight out, hit the back of here. So I'm not going to put a, a, a port here. I'm going to, I'm st I've started to open that up but I can't really do it anymore because the whole thing distorts. So I'm going to have to wait till it's all welded up. Then I'm going to find a pipe and uh, we'll put the pipe in there and braze that up. But the pipe has to be sort of that long so that it goes in so that the, the exhaust gases don't just hit it and go out they need to hit and bounce back and then come back so you get the you get the pulse so let's see i mean it might let's see how it goes i mean it's probably gonna be quite loud but uh, i haven't seen one of these on the internet so we could uh we could have something good here or not but you know it's all about trying so i need to find myself a little bit of, a larger bit of pipe that will fit in there or not i can make the hole of whatever size i need but I need to find a pipe a couple of inches long or to go in there and um, I want to keep it looking pretty standard so it will do it'll look standard apart from just a bigger pipe and that's it and then but we know inside it's going to be completely hollow so let's get cracking there we are I mean it's not the prettiest because I've only, I've only got my um, blowtorch uh, so um, plumbing blowtorch which doesn't get that hot but I've, um, I'll spray this all black so you won't see, but look, I've, uh, <laughs> I've brazed that up, so that's all sealed up there, so the whole thing's a sealed unit. Um, now I need to wait for, uh, I've got to find a bit of pipe, a bigger bit of pipe to put in there. I'll drill that out, 
and we'll solder that out. But before I do all that, as, as you, those of you who've been paying attention will be aware, this is going to be a little bit shorter now. So here's a, another one I've got. Look, so you can see it's, a, it's a going to be a bit short, which means that these, this bracket, um, I'm going to have to either put some spacers behind there when I mount the bracket. So I've got this here. So if I put that there, you can see that the, the bracket now is going to probably um, have to put some spacers behind there and there and then put the bracket on. But that's not a problem. Anyway, so now what I'm going to do, because I'm quite pleased with that, that's come up really well. So what, now what I need to do is I'll put this back on because I'm, I need to know roughly, I want because the way this is going to work, the, the gas is going to come out and they're going to bounce back. I don't want them to come out and go out the pipe. So um, ideally I'd like to have that pipe at an angle like that. I'm worried it's going to hit this, it's going to hit my uh, chain brake. So I'll put, this, I'll put that back on so that I can then stick this on here. All right. So I'll get the screws and screw that up tight. And then I'll, I'll show you what Okay, she's on there tight now. If I put the, the lever down, you can see here, look, if I use my finger, look, that, that the chain brake is, is fully down now. So there's plenty of space there to have that at quite a, if I look at that, that's going to be about, about that sort of angle. So, if I hang on. so that's the sort of angle I need. So that's sort of, yeah, not quite, about 30 degrees. Put degrees in there. Now what we'll do with the pipe is I'll put a an edge that's parallel like that so any of the gases that come out won't automatically go straight down that pipe because um, if, if I put the pipe like cut like that then some of the gases will actually go straight out. But anyway that's going to be up to the top so I'll have it going up, up in here so that's roughly where the main part of the gases will be in. So yeah let's see. So I now need to go and find a bit of a pipe so I'll find that. And then we'll uh, open that up and solder it in. But I'm, that's looking good. When it's all finished, I'll obviously spray all this black. Should look good. Just as a comparison, before I put that away, that is a lot lighter than that one. I mean, okay, that's got the bracket on it, but that's a, that's a lot. This is definitely a lot lighter. I mean, it might not work. It might be too loud. or But let's see. It's given, we're giving it a go, aren't we? It's all about... Experimentation. Oh, it's only a chainsaw engine at the end of the day. But um, let's see. Stick with us. I've mounted that bracket on there, and you can see there's quite a bit of space there. So I've just got my uh, down here. But down there, I get roughly the size that I need. Let's see, 11, 11 mil. So I need basically, so I now need to make 11 mil spaces in there, but that's not a problem. I'll just... Next day, I just had a thought actually, I can use the, the bit of pipe which I took out of here. I can use that and just cut that and make a couple of spaces to go in there. Really lightweight. And uh, if needed, I can just tack it, braise it, tack it there so it stays on the exhaust. I'm gonna just get my angle grinder. So I've cut those bits in, I've cut those bits off that tube and that fits in there, lovely. So that's all totally solid. Okay, so I found some tubing um, that was a bit big, actually. It was a bit thick, thick walls, so it was a bit heavy. So I just got that and drove that all the way down it. And uh, so it's a bit thin, thin walled now. Anyway, so I've opened that up with the same thing. Opened that right up. So the idea, I've cut a bit of a chamfer, a bit of an edge angle on that, so that when that goes in, look, the gases should come straight. Well, technically, the idea they'll come straight past it bounce back and then they'll come th through there so the idea that's going to be sort of angled like that up to the top like that so it should it goes in like that look and that's about three quarters three quarters of an inch and then that goes in like that and then I'll just I'll, I'll braise that into that position like that so it'll be like that now I've checked it with the bar put the bar on like that and then I'd also put this, I have to be careful because the springs off, I'm not, there we are. So that fits in there, look, and that's going to be fine if I, I'm going to angle that down a little bit and solder that like that. So let me go away and solder that, I'll be back. Soldered up okay. Gun had a bit of a problem, it was trying to get the heat in there, wasn't too, so it's not the prettiest, but that fits up there, love, and it looks, uh, that's going to 
miss everything perfectly. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just spray that up with some heat, some exhaust paint, and she's good to go. Here she is, all painted up and everything, put on. Looks lovely. See, it's all standard apart from that rather large hole there. So yeah, we're good to go. That's the exhaust. So I'm going to have to wait until I build this saw up. I've got to, um, got a load more parts came today. So I'm going to build this saw up. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit before I uh, actually start it up. But stick with it and uh, we'll be back when I start it up. Okay, so we're um, a few weeks later, right? Um, I've put this all, I've built this saw all up. It's got a 20, it's got a 60, it's got 20, um, 24 inch bar on it and blade. I've just actually been doing some work on it uh, as you're using it and it's an absolute dream. So um, I'm just going to um, spark this up and you can hear what the, what the exhaust sounds like. But the, 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 the saw is just an absolute beast. Um, I mean, it's actually quite scary, actually, how much power it's got. So uh, what we're going to do is I'll take that off and I'll start it up and you can hear that exhaust. But I'm really, really, really pleased with the, with the outcome of it. So let me take that bar, uh, bar cover off and I'll start her up. Okay, so we'll start this baby up. That sounds absolutely dream. It runs absolutely beautiful. So um, I've been cutting logs with that all day, and uh, absolutely pulls. It's a beast. It just pulls like a like a dream. So what can I say? So I can. That is a really, really, really good mod for your saw. So it's not running hot. It's uh, it's letting it breathe, um, and it's pulling like a train. So we've done it. Hope this video has helped, and yeah, good luck to everyone. You can do it.